Okay. So, hey everyone. Um, if you've been following my Instagram or you're on the internet, you might have heard about the gamma treated cubes. So, Derpy has three, hashtag has two, um, a few other people have some. And I'm going to explain what it is. So gamma treatment, it's one of the steps for changing the plastic and um, it fixes a lot of the problems that I had with the other methods. So uh, let's do a quick explanation. It's going to be a, this is going to be a long talky video everyone. Um, it all started back, I don't know where I'm going. I'll just find somewhere quiet. So it all started back with boron treatment. Uh, two years ago. That was a while. Um, and basically, I just wanted to make the plastic softer and different. Uh, boron treatment, it wasn't consistent, it was expensive, and it wasn't good. So then I started working on the chemical, the plastic coatings. So I was testing different polymers, different chemicals, different grafting agents, and that had its own set of problems, like the coating will wear off, um, Sometimes it's inconsistent yeah. in thickness. Sometimes the chemicals aren't safe. Um, nothing I released. Those were all like experimental though. So no worries there. Um, sometimes the feeling wasn't nice. The speed was too much. Uh, then I tried lube infused coating. So I had the Dignitas coating, the lubrical black coating. And the issue with those in particular is they wore off really quickly. Um, and then I started experimenting with gas phase, liquid phase, all kinds of different things, but there still wasn't the right one. So I kept trying and kept researching, like my basic work day would be waking up, have a few chemicals in mind, testing different grafting agents, different solvents, different polymers. If I don't have a pre-made one in mind, I look up one that might work and I test that. And it was a long process and that led to gamma treatment. So. Boron treatment is a selective uh, selective change from a double bond to a single bond. Um, but I thought to myself, what if it wasn't a selective process? What if we just get into the plastic, just wreck the molecules, destroy the molecular weight of the particles, but still have the shape of the plastic? So just cl not cleave, but just mess with all the bonds going on there indiscriminately and see what happens. And do it in a way that it seeps into the plastic and permanently changes the feeling. So with coatings, eventually the plastic, the polymer coating will wear off and it'll be like normal and the cube's worn out. But with uh, the treatment, it actually seeps into the plastic and changes it permanently. And that's the gamma treatment. To my surprise, it actually worked really, really well. So the plastic is quieter. It's softer, it's sometimes faster, sometimes slower. That can actually be changed and done selectively. And that's a big step because now we can, we can really, really make cubes exactly how we want them. So um, if I wanted a fast, hard coating, um, that's easy. Um, just coat it with Shangshao plastic. Um, if I wanted something soft and quiet for in public, well, gamma treatment does that now. So this weekend, actually, I'm going to a competition like an hour from my house. And I like, I don't want to travel too far now because I'm really busy with a lot of things, but I want to do a little promotional thing. So first few people who come up to me, I'm going to have like a sign and stuff. I'm going to gamma treat your cubes at lunch so that people can really get the feeling. Um, I'm not sure if I said this this video. I'm really sleepy and it's test season. Um, but I sent Dana a 5x5, five five, so she's at going to a comp this weekend too, so if you see her, ask to feel the 5x5, five five because I really think this next plastic change, I think people are really going to like it. So we're going to demo it this weekend, see what's up, send it to testers, and then we got to get ready for nationals. So this product probably won't hit the public until at least late August, September, definitely after nationals. So after nationals, I'm gonna be heading up straight to New York and I'll be working in main office. So we'll, we can get compound X and compound V started, uh, train, train some people, we'll get that started with production and then hopefully we can get gamma treatment out. Uh, let's see if I missed anything. 
Um, oh, I forgot to mention, the gamma treatment, it's kind of weird. It works differently for some puzzles. So the Huang Long, it ended up really well. That one was super smooth, super soft, and super quiet. Uh, GTS, MF3 RS2, pretty much anything made by MoYu is really good. For big cubes, it's a really unique feel because there's so much surface area for the plastic to change. So for the big cubes, they feel really nice. And I think that's where a lot of people might be interested in gamma treatment. Um, for this weekend, I'm only going to do 3x3s, um, but it's, 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 a, it's a fun process. So hopefully that answered some questions about gamma process, and uh, I'll see you all in the next video. So for the next few videos, I mentioned that between the original coding and the gamma process, there were like 20 or 30 like experimental codings. Some of those are pretty cool, and I might do like a history lesson um, if anyone's curious about any of the those coatings. And those coatings are still decent. Um, they just need some uh, testing and working out to get them fixed. And that should be it. So, see y'all in the next video.